The entrance exam. Your first step on the road to becoming a Border Patrol agent or CBP officer. We use the entrance exam to assess you on skills that our employees use every day. The good news is you don't need to know how to do the job you've applied for to succeed on the exams. And we have a lot of resources to help you prepare. Here's how it all works. The entrance exam is broken down into two parts. Shortly after submitting your application on USA Jobs, you'll receive an email inviting you to complete the candidate experience record, a short questionnaire about your personal and professional background. You can complete the candidate experience record on your phone, a tablet, or a computer. After that, you'll receive an email with instructions on the next step, the reasoning exams. You may have the option to take one or more of these exams at home. If you do, we recommend using a computer or tablet versus your mobile phone. Otherwise, you'll receive instructions on how to schedule an appointment at a local testing center. If you take the exams at a testing center, be sure to arrive and check in at least 15 minutes early. If you're late, you may have to start your application to CBP over again. When you arrive, test administrators will take you to a computer that you'll use to take the exam. You'll have to store your cell phone, bag, wallet, and other personal items in a storage area outside the room or in your car but you can bring in a water bottle and test administrators will provide scratch papers and pens. All applicants will take a logical reasoning exam that assesses your ability to make sound decisions and draw logical conclusions based on the information provided in the exam. If you're applying for a Border Patrol agent position, logical reasoning will be your only exam, but keep listening for some tips that will help you prepare. If you're applying for a CBP officer position, you'll also have exams on arithmetic reasoning and writing skills. The arithmetic reasoning exam assesses your ability to perform basic math and identify strategies to solve numbers-based problems. If you're in person, test administrators will provide you with a calculator. The writing exam uses a multiple choice format to assess your ability to communicate clearly and effectively in writing. So, how can you prepare? First, there are study guides and practice tests on our website at cbp.gov study guides. Be sure to read the study guides thoroughly and set aside time to take the practice tests before test day. Beyond that, here are a few important tips. If you're applying for a Border Patrol agent position, your logical reasoning exam will take about two hours. If you're applying for a CBP officer position, your three exams will take about four hours total. Once you start, you have limited time to complete the exams, so focus on time management when you practice. And if you take one or more exam at home, ensure you have a quiet space where you can focus and complete each exam in a single sitting. Either way, keep in mind that these exams aren't like a pen and paper test. You won't be able to go back and revisit questions you've already answered. You also can't move forward until you answer the question you're currently on. That means sometimes you may have to make a best guess in order to keep going. And last but not least, take the exam seriously. They're a measure of how well you'll do on the job and your score will determine whether your application moves forward. Preparation and success are up to you. After you finish, you can relax and go about your day. We'll email you your results within about two weeks. Good next steps after watching this video would be to check out the study guides, set aside time to take the practice tests, and make sure you review and understand all the information in the confirmation and scheduling emails we'll send as you move through the process.